Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last three videos, I have been showing you how to make a tabbed uh, notepad with the help of C Sharp a Windows Form application. So till now, I have added new tab functionality so it can add new tab, it can open any text file in your tabs, it can also save it it can cut copy or paste and in this video I will add some more functionalities for example when I select this tab and when I open the file my file is opened here but the name of the tab doesn't changes according to the file name so that I will uh, I will show you how to change this name according to the file name same is with this save file when I save this file with any name some name dot txt this, this name should come on the title of the uh, tab this here but it doesn't come so this also I will show you and plus I will add some more functionalities here in the menu strip so let's see first of all we will add uh, the functionality to the open button so that it displays the file name on the tab title so I will just go to this open but menu strip button and double click it and this code we have written in the last videos for notepad so in video number 67 68 and 69 i have been showing you this uh, how to open so 68 or 69 i have shown you this code now i want to show the file title also so what i will do is i will go inside this if condition here and in here what i will do is i will just copy the name of my tab control so my tab control name is tab control 1 once again to the code and in this if condition for the open button click event paste your tab control name dot selected tab dot text is equal to path and in the bracket we will pass the path so after this path we just need to write dot uh, get file name yes and in here we will pass the path of the file so I will copy the name of my open di file dialog variable dot file name okay so it will give me the file name not the whole path but the file name on the top of my tab control title so let's see how it works so if you add this line just run the code and now we will add one more tab and we will add or open a text file so I have this text file I open it and you will see that text file is open and the name of the text file is also represented here on the tab title so this I wanted to show so now it can show the title same I want to do it with the save button also so what I will do is I will copy the same code from here I will go to the form click file menu strip and double click the save button 
and in here I have written the save dialog button in the video number 67 and 68 so I will go into this using condition here I will paste my code the same code the tab control name dot selected tab dot text is equal to path dot get file and instead of this open file dialog name I will just copy and paste this save file dialog name so save file dialog and paste it here and now when I run the program and I open a new tab and I write something inside this some text and I want to save this text now so I will click this file save and I will name this file as YouTube dot txt file okay so I will click save and my file is also saved and the title of the file is also come here so I just wanted to show this title here also so now this title appears here so that's what I wanted to do so this is the same functionality as a notepad one more one more not one but more functionality I want to add uh, here in edit menu strip so first of all I will add a separator and in here I want to add a menu item and sorry menu item so this menu item I want to name it as select all all and in here I want to add undo and in the next I want to add redo and in the next here I want to add separator and once again I want to add menu item sorry here and in the menu items I want to add uh, clear and undo clear okay so I want to add these functionality also in edit menu strips so first of all add uh, we will add this select all functionality double click it and we will reach to this select all button click event and in the video number 67 I have shown you how to make this uh, get rich text box function so go there and copy this uh, get rich text box so function name and once again go to form select item double click select all sorry so select all double click here okay and paste your function name here get rich text box name dot select all and bracket and bracket close and now we will add uh, more functionality so for undo just paste your function name once again dot undo and bracket and bracket closed same I will do for redo dot redo bracket and bracket closed and same I will do for clear double click clear dot clear bracket and bracket closed and the same I will do for undo clear so double click and dot undo 
so clear undo this one not here but yeah bracket and bracket close so now all the functionalities will work so let's run the program and first of all new and I will add some text here I will add some new function here so first of all I will I want to select all so I will go to my edit I will press select all and all this will be selected once again go here and select all all this text will be selected now I want to for example I will delete this text and I want to do undo so I will go edit and go undo so it will come back and when I press redo it will go back so it has gone when I click clear all the file will clear so clear and file will clear and when I click undo clear this should come but this is not coming why I don't know why so I will look at it and you can also look at it and correct it so in this way you can add more functionalities to your notepad I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.